Now to a story we broke first on WPRI.com. Governor's son charged. Caleb Chafee is facing a violation from Jamestown, Jamestown police tonight. The 18-year-old is accused of walking into a liquor store, putting two cases of beer on the counter, then leaving after taking a phone call. From the Providence Global Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live outside the State House. Well, Susan, we're hearing from Governor Lincoln Chafee now after police say his 18-year-old son tried to buy alcohol. 18-year-old Caleb Chafee, seen at his father's 2010 inauguration, is charged in Jamestown over the weekend. Police say Chafee walked to the counter at Jamestown Wine and Spirits and put two cases of beer on the counter. Right before he goes to pay, he gets a phone call, hangs up, and tells the clerk he has no money. A police report says Chafee left and got into the backseat of a car. The report states the driver looked suspicious, so the detective pulled the car over and alcohol was found. But it wasn't from the liquor store Chafee was just at. Now, the report claims Chafee said Said, I wish to take the fifth when asked why he went into the liquor store. Also in the report, when the detective questions another passenger in the car, Chafee shouted to his friend, take the fifth. Then the two-page report says the detective threatened to arrest him if he didn't stop interfering. The detective confiscated the alcohol and they were allowed to leave. Police say the governor's son received no special treatment. No, uh, we treat everybody with fairness. Um, everybody gets treated the same. Um, you know, certainly, um, you know, this is going to get a lot more attention and hopefully, you know, we walk away with a positive message. The 18-year-old driver was charged with transportation and possession of alcohol while the governor's son could face punishment if convicted of his misrepresentation charge. Now we received this statement from the governor. When I and other public officials run for office, we understand that there is additional scrutiny that comes with the positions we seek. Stephanie and I take this situation very seriously, as would all parents. Now Caleb Chafee is due in court on April 20th. Reporting live in front of the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.